see this is what i was telling you what is normative social influence this is a simple pyq repeat from your ugc net psychology examination so that is why solving pyqs of ugc net psychology will help you immensely apart from any other thing which you can even think of okay so first of all welcome back once again to the next part we are solving what is normative social influence okay now before we solve this if you want to have these all things what this is this is your unit wise compilation pyq ebook of your ugc net psychology and if you want to prepare from this as well you can easily do you will have all the questions from june 2019 to december 2024 and i can guarantee you the questions are coming from here also as well okay so to order this you can check the description how you can order this ebook the description details are given you just follow the simple steps and it will be available for you within 24 hours because if you solve over from there then you will also know that apart from normative social influence there is one more dash social influence called and out of these options that is the answer for that as well but influence based on the desire to be correct and accurate influence based on the desire to be accepted and liked by others influence based on personal beliefs and values or influence based on perceived power and authority okay so what is normative social influence it is your option number b influence based on the desire to be accepted and liked by others okay so let's suppose you don't like ice cream okay but because you want to be socially desire desirable and accepted by others or liked by others you will say okay okay i also like the ice cream okay so what this is this is your normative social influence okay now moving forward next one and influence based on perceived power and authority we can think of that conformity not conformity sorry obedience and all those things will come into picture so compliance conformity and obedience is very very imp this is by your robert cialdini this is your by solomon ash that experiment by seven people sitting which is the bigger line and things like that and this is your obedience experiment by stanley milgram who is celebrating his birthday on 15th of august i mean who used to celebrate now question number 42 who is regarded as the pioneer of psychology in india establishing the first indian psychological laboratory okay now we are talking about the ip not ipl indian psychological laboratory who has established for the very first time if you know the department of psychology was first of all established in 1916 it is given in the c book as well or any psychology in india book which you can find off okay so obviously it was by nn sen gupta so we are not looking into nn sen gupta over here so obviously that name is not going to be the correct answer over here so now what is the next one gs rathi sk mangal girindra shekhar bose and ak7 ak7 or ak47 singh so obviously none of these is the correct answer only and only girindra shekhar bose is the correct answer he was a psychoanalyst and all those things which you can read if you will refer to the c book okay and where you can find the c book you can find the c book in the telegram channel itself now which brain structure is primarily involved i am telling you this amygdala hippocampus cerebellum thalamus whichever year you are sitting for giving this examination 100% question from this topic is going to come you have to know what is amygdala what it is hippocampus cerebellum and thalamus these functions are very very imp in any clinical psychology examination maybe it government semi government or maybe it can be any private or what those universities conduct examination this is i can guarantee you 100% question is going to come because without biopsychology your mphil paper is just shallow so the more strong your biopsychology portion is the more strong you are in other areas as well because everything is related with your genes and environment okay now which brain structure is primarily involved in forming new memories as soon as you saw you will resemble amygdala as well because we talked about memories of fear okay but is the answer amygdala over here no why because we are having this hippocampus and we are forming new memories okay now in hippocampus there is a area where happens the ltp long term potentiation it means you are moving through this path now the grass will not be greener on this path okay so the more you practice the more you revise it forms the long term potentiation and cerebellum is obviously not the answer because it is associated with what it is associated with your calculation not calculation 
coordination and your body balance and all those things okay cerebellum right above your this brain stem okay and what is the spinal column mnemonic ctls cervical thoracic lumbar and sacral region over there now thalamus is what is a relay center always remember the relay center everything whatever sense you are feeling or going through will pass through the thalamus you are looking at something it will go to thalamus you are listening something it will go it will go but only and only from your olfactory nothing is going to your thalamus so this is also a favorite question because many examination this type of question ask these type of questions as well okay so not the amygdala correct answer is your option number b hippocampus moving forward to the next one what is the term for the brain processes of regulating its own responses to stress by controlling hormone release okay so now before we answer that question let's have a look at how this pyq ebook looks like which is having your unit wise questions so as you can see this is your unit number 7 personality motivation emotion stress and coping and why i am showing this obviously there will be a reason so wait for that okay so as soon as you come down you will getting you will be getting this thing june 2019 nine questions you will solve 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 and then you will be having the answer key as well okay and wherever or whenever the answer keys are wrong it has been mentioned over there as well okay so you will solve the questions you will check from the answer key again repeat solve the questions answer key again repeat and repeat 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 so that you get to solve n number of questions for your practice for from unit number first to unit number 10. now what is the question saying what is the term for the brain's processes of regulating its own responses to stress by controlling hormone release you will find this question never in CANF framework. Okay, it is not explicitly mentioned like this. So, options are neuroplasticity, homeostasis, allostasis, and circadian rhythm. Okay, so let's just suppose you don't have any idea what is happening over here, but you have the PYQ ebook. And now, when you will come in December 23 session, you will find this assertion which is stating that. Allostasis is a process of adaptation to acute stress by releasing stress hormones in the event of challenge with a goal to restore the homeostasis. HPA, this is your hypothalamus pituitary axis, gets activated in the event of stress, but obviously, and both things are somewhat related, and you will get to know the answer as well because it is mentioned over here in the answer key option number first over there. Okay, so now you know what is allostasis as soon as you solve all the PYQs okay and which will make you stand out from others and now you don't even need to think of what is happening over here what is the term for the brain's process of regulating its own responses to stress by controlling hormone release obviously answer will be allostasis now you know what is allostasis homeostasis is what is your n d a g a r if you go and read ncrt you will find this circle in the chapter number nine but that is not required right now neuroplasticity already we have solved this thing okay what it means for formation of new neurons or birth of new neurons or changes what is happening neuroplasticity and circadian rhythm is obviously is for your 24 hour wake cycle and sleep about sleep okay so hpa axis and allostasis are somewhat uh, related to this control hormone release and about your stress and all these things okay all right so option number c is the correct answer over here and neuroplasticity i guess we have solved in previous pyqs as well now, which model proposes that memory is organized in a network of interconnected nodes? Now, this question has op options as associative model, connectionist model, network model and linkage model. So now over here, two options can be correct. Option number B as well as option number C depending upon the perspective of the question being asked. So network model can also be the answer and connectionist model. So they have given the answer key with B option, but it's okay. Which model proposes that memory is organized in a network of interconnected nodes? If you want exactly these nodes think then it will be formed in the network model called as a neural network but also in the connectionist model also we are having the same thing. Okay so there is a very thin line between these two options so they are just a matter of luck what you get in that day with the answer key. It's just like same eating a pineapple and having a pineapple juice. Okay it's just upon the preference now and is it is taken again from the c book as well moving forward question number 46 which disorder involves alternating episode of mania and depression alternating episode of mania and depression this question is taken from the c book the n book the f book whatever 
you are having these books so generalized anxiety disorder schizophrenia major depressive disorder and bipolar disorder what is the correct answer over here obviously bipolar one pole is for your mania another pole is for depression you are having bipolar 1 and bipolar 2 and this is also a favorite question of your mphil and trans examination so make sure that whenever next time you are giving the examination you are thorough with the bipolar disorder this thing what happens in one what happens in two from the very basic this is a very basic generalized question so from very basic to very advanced knowledge you should have for bipolar disorder because this is very very imp schizophrenia 100 percent they are going to ask in any paper they will ask okay without schizophrenia how can a ample interest paper can be prepared right that's not logically possible and this anxiety disorder is also okay but yes psychopathology thing is very very imp for your preparation now see biopsychosocial this is a basic common sense question biopsychosocial biological psychological and social model integrates which are the following factors in understanding mental health so obviously it will use biology psychology and sociology i mean social this thing as well okay so not cultural not emotional not developmental genetic environmental and developmental no they will not ask like this now moving forward to next question question number 48 what is the critical feature of carl rogers client centered therapy again a general basic question analyzing unconscious desires therapist providing unconditional positive regard implementing strict behavior modifications using aversive stimuli okay so what is going to be the correct answer the carl rogers ccp came in 1951 okay 1951 three very very imp thing one of them is unconditional positive regard another one is your empathy and congruence or congruence okay so option number b is the correct answer over here analyzing unconscious desire it will happen in the psychoanalysis or psychotherapy that thing implementing strict behavior modifications it will have in the operant conditioning thing okay and using aversive stimuli we can have this in the classical conditioning or these two are from the behaviorist point of view okay now comment down below when was the first time psychology as a behaviorist views it was published make sure that you comment down below moving forward to the next one question number 4949 according to freud of freud which term refers to the part of personality that mediates between desires and social rules okay so between desires and social rules what is that term which is mediating between this id super ego ego and self again a easy one option c ego is the correct answer okay so as soon as you read this self you should you should be able to recall the concept by alport the propium and all those things as well okay and from where this is coming obviously you receive it pyq now what is the concept of neural pruning in neuropsychology and why i am telling you the questions are coming from the c book only you don't have to go anywhere you don't have to waste your time money energy anything in doing such things this neural pruning is copy pasted copy pasted from the c book simply if you just follow c book completely there is nothing you need to do else apart from that now what is neural pruning happening over there so have you ever done gardening or this thing tree and plants this thing okay have you ever done this thing if you have done this thing you will be understanding this pruning thing in a very short time why because what happens is whenever these leaves are what we can say are dried up or shredded or they are weaker what we do we just cut them out okay in roses as well rose saplings and all those things if you have ever done gardening why you will remove those bad things not bad actually but yes why you will remove all those things because you want your plant or tree to be more successful in life and more i mean grown up and things like that okay you want your tree to look good that is the same thing which you will do in your body i mean which you will not do but it happens in your body neural pruning as soon as you saw this neural everywhere you will remember this thing this neuron is going to do something okay and what it is it is doing the pruning thing and what is that strengthening of neural pathways option number one elimination of unused neural connections growth of new neurons increase in brain size okay increase in brain size so now just remember with plans what you do and what option is resembling with that obviously option number b elimination of unused okay so the unused branches the unused uh, what leaves or flowers or fruits what you will just you will just eliminate them from your plant or sapling or whatever that is okay so that same thing happens in your body 
Elimination of unused neural connections are called as what are called as the neural pruning so that it will make more space to form new neurons and do good with your brain and all those things. Growth of new neurons? No. What this is? Comment down below. Is this neuroplasticity or is this neurogenesis? Genesis chapter 1 1 in the beginning the God created the heavens and the earth. Okay. Now increase in brain size. Why this will happen? Okay. We are not talking about any cortex or anything like that. And strengthening of neural pathways, no, that happens in LTP, long-term potentiation, where you are learning, 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 the pathway is becoming strong, strong day by day, okay? So as you are also learning day by day, that CNF framework is very, very IMP to clear your any examination. What is happening? It is happening due to strengthening. You are doing this thing again and again and again, and obviously you will succeed in the examination. Okay, so this was it for your IHBS part number next. I hope you like the video and if you like the video, make sure that you're hitting that subscribe button. And if you want to order this unit wise PYQ ebook, then you can just check the description, follow the steps mentioned over there and it will be available for you so that you can practice n number of questions. I guess approximately more than 1100 plus questions are there, unit wise arranged with their answer keys as well. And what you need to, if you don't know the answer, where you need to go, Again, go back to the CANF framework, right? Thank you.